Tonight, we close with something extraordinary, the clearest and most breathtaking views of Neptune ever captured. For centuries, Neptune has remained an enigma, a distant blue world lurking on the edge of our solar system, far from the warmth of the sun. But now, new data has revealed something far stranger than astronomers ever expected. This time, it's not just about the images, it's about the very nature of Neptune itself. For generations, scientists believed they understood the way planets move, rotate, and interact with gravity. Yet Neptune's latest observations seem to suggest otherwise. Its orbit, long assumed to follow the predictable patterns of Newton's laws, appears to be subtly, but unmistakably, out of step. To some, this may sound like a minor anomaly. But to astrophysicists, it's a sign that something fundamental about our understanding of planetary physics may be incomplete. It was at a recent global symposium that astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson shook the room with a startling announcement. Tyson, celebrated for transforming dense scientific concepts into stories that resonate with millions, told the world that Neptune may not be what we thought it was at all. For decades, we labeled it the solar system's icy blue giant. But now, evidence suggests Neptune is far more complex, perhaps even unlike any planet we've ever studied before. To appreciate the scale of this revelation, we need to revisit Neptune's history. Unlike most planets, Neptune wasn't discovered by looking through a telescope. Instead, its existence was predicted on paper. In 1846, astronomers noticed that Uranus wasn't following its expected orbital path. The explanation was that another, more distant planet must be tugging at it with gravity. Using mathematics alone, scientists pinpointed where this mysterious planet should be, and when telescopes turned skyward, there it was, Neptune. A world revealed not by sight, but by calculation. For more than a century afterward, Neptune remained a distant, blurry dot in telescopes. Then, in 1989, Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to ever visit Neptune, flew past. In just a few hours, it transformed our view of the planet forever. The images showed a world unlike any other. Winds racing at supersonic speeds, storms larger than Earth, and a color so deep and haunting it seemed almost alien. One of its storms, the Great Dark Spot, rivaled Jupiter's Great Red Spot in scale. And yet, just a few years later, when the Hubble Space Telescope looked again, that storm had completely vanished, replaced by others. Neptune, it seemed, was alive with turbulent, shifting weather. After Voyager 2's brief encounter, Neptune once again retreated into the shadows. For decades, it was left largely unexplored, too far, too dim, too mysterious. But with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, our perspective has changed. New instruments, sharper than ever before, have peeled back Neptune's clouds to reveal astonishing details. And what they show does not fit the tidy diagrams in our textbooks. According to Tyson and other researchers, Neptune may not have the simple layered structure we imagine. Instead of a rocky core, icy mantle, and gaseous envelope, Neptune behaves more like a stratified labyrinth, zones of different materials interacting in ways we can't yet model. Some layers appear to act like plasma, while others seem to trap heat in strange patches hidden far below the surface. At Neptune's distance from the Sun, these warm regions should not exist. Sunlight there is barely stronger than moonlight on Earth. Its moons, including Triton, are not massive enough to provide the tidal heating we see on Jupiter's moons. Something else, something internal, is producing heat within Neptune. Then there's the magnetic field. For years, we knew Neptune's magnetism was odd, tilted dramatically off-center. But new measurements suggest it's more than just tilted. It's unstable, shifting and even reforming in ways never before observed on a planet. Scientists believe this may be due to superionic ice, a bizarre state of matter that exists under crushing pressures inside Neptune. Imagine water frozen into a crystal lattice, but with hydrogen ions free to flow through it, carrying electric current. This strange material could create an electrified slush ocean deep inside Neptune, driving its magnetic field into chaos. But the mysteries deepen. Radio telescopes have picked up emissions not from Neptune's atmosphere, but from deep within its interior. 
The frequencies don't match any natural processes we've cataloged. Some suspect they may be signatures of extreme chemical reactions under unimaginable pressure. Others wonder if exotic quantum effects are at play, phenomena that could only exist in conditions we can't replicate on Earth. Neptune's atmosphere adds another puzzle. Winds on the planet reach speeds of over 1,300 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound on Earth. On our planet, winds are driven by sunlight and heat differences across regions. But on Neptune, where sunlight is almost non-existent, these jet streams seem to be powered from within. If true, Neptune may be the first known world where weather is almost entirely controlled by its own internal energy, an alien engine of storms unlike anything in the solar system. This has staggering implications. Because Neptune isn't alone. Astronomers have discovered thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars, and many of them are Neptune-like in size. These so-called, mini-Neptunes, or, sub-Neptunes, make up one of the most common types of planets in the galaxy. If Neptune itself refuses to obey the rules, then perhaps all those other worlds are far more exotic and unpredictable than we assume. Some researchers are even beginning to question whether Neptune should be classified differently. Could it represent a transitional category, something between a planet and a brown dwarf? While it lacks the mass to ignite fusion like a star, its strange internal energy hints at processes we don't yet understand. If confirmed, Neptune could belong to an entirely new class of objects. But this isn't just about Neptune's structure. It's also about history. Many planetary scientists believe Neptune didn't form where it is today. Instead, it migrated outward after its birth, reshaping the solar system as it went. Its gravity may have sculpted the Kuiper belt, flinging countless icy bodies into deep space. It may even have ejected another giant planet entirely in the violent early days of the solar system. If Neptune is more chaotic than we thought, then the early solar system may not have been the orderly clockwork we once imagined. Instead, it may have been a battlefield, giant planets colliding, scattering, and rewriting the architecture of the Sun's family. Neptune, in that sense, may be a survivor of cosmic violence, carrying scars we are only now beginning to recognize. What does all this mean for us? It means that science is never finished. Neptune is a reminder that the universe always has surprises in store. Just when we think we've written the final chapter, a new discovery forces us to start the story over. Tyson's announcement is less about Neptune itself and more about the humility that comes with exploration. Every time we look deeper, the cosmos reveals new mysteries. And that, perhaps, is the most powerful part of this revelation. Because Neptune doesn't just challenge our equations, it reignites our sense of wonder. It forces us to imagine what else might be hiding in the universe. If a planet in our own solar system can defy expectations this dramatically, then what about the countless worlds orbiting distant stars? What unimaginable landscapes might exist? What alien forces might shape them? Neptune reminds us why we look up at the night sky in the first place. Not just for answers, but for questions. Questions that push us further, that demand new tools, sharper eyes, and bolder imagination. So here's the challenge Neptune poses to all of us. Are we ready to rewrite the story of the solar system? Are we ready to rethink the rules of planetary science? And above all, are we ready to embrace the truth that the universe is far stranger, far more dynamic, and far more beautiful than we ever believed? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Could Neptune, this restless blue giant at the edge of our solar system, be the key to unlocking not just planetary mysteries, but the secrets of the universe itself? Share your ideas in the comments, and if you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to like and subscribe.